Did you know that Mardi Gras means Fat Tuesday? I didn't know that. It's the culmination of the two month carnival season and a legal holiday in New Orleans since 1875. So today is the big day. Joining us from the parade route on historic St. Charles Avenue in New Orleans, Christine Saunier of New Orleans Convention and Visit Visitor Bureau. Good morning. Good morning, Will. Happy Mardi Gras. Hey, I love that. I love the mask. It looks like one big party. So I've never been to New Orleans. You see pictures on TV. You see the video on TV. It is one big party yeah. down there. What's it like down there today? Well, today's a culmination of what's been happening for the past two weeks. So if you see behind me, this is a St. Charles Avenue parade route. Two of the biggest parades are about to travel down this street. That's the crew of Zulu, which is already underway now. It will soon fill this street. So we're looking at a hundred or so floats. They're going to be throwing everything from beads to coconuts. The coconuts are the prize <laughs> throws of the crew of Zulu. And as soon as they proceed down St. Charles Avenue, they'll be followed by the crew of Rex and Rex is the king of carnival. The mayor has given Rex complete control of the city today. There is no work being done in the city today. Everyone is having a citywide celebration and the families and friends are all in the streets waiting to meet the king of Zulu and the king of Rex. Oh my God, that looks like one big party. All right now for a lot of people, I didn't know this either. Each each day there's there's different parade themes, right? Yeah, there are lots of different themes. Uh, some of them are Greek mythology. Some are current events. There are a lot. Of, there's a lot of satire involved in some of these themes. There's a lot of political fodder right now. So some of these parade themes have been pretty funny. Um, and then all the crews have different things that they throw. I mentioned the Zulu coconut. There's another one, another crew called the Crew of Muses. It's an all-female group. They throw ornately decorated shoes. So people clamor for these things and collect them <laughs> year after year. It is one big part. All right, now the other thing too. So, so why does Mardi Gras fall on different dates each year? So it all backs up to Easter. Easter is when, well, so tomorrow begins the Lenten season, Ash Wednesday, or the saddest day in New Orleans. So that's the day that kicks off the Lenten season, and all good Catholics give up something they love, and that takes them all the way, 46 days, up to Easter. So January 6th is always when Mardi Gras starts, and we have to allow for 46 days between Ash Wednesday and Easter. So the whole Mardi Gras season kind of slides with Easter. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does make it does make sense. All right, now I have beads here, and I didn't get them the traditional way. Um, but what is the deal with the beads? Well, let me clear something up. The traditional way to get beads is simply to say, "Throw me something, Mister." The other thing that happens sometimes in the French Quarter, that doesn't happen by New Orleanians. I can tell you're from you're not from New Orleans if you're lifting up your shirt for beads. So that's that's really not how it's done. That's amateur hour right there. <laughs> But it is fun. Don't don't say it's not fun. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> but the beads that you know, in the late 1800s, people's crews started throwing gl really nice glass beads. But they become very expensive to produce that way. So now the beads are basically plastic beads, probably made in China. But uh, and some crews do throw the glass beads. But typically, what you get is the plastic beads that I'm wearing right here. Okay, and, 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 and I just got the, these by saying, "Throw me something, Mister." What's the deal with the cake? The king cake. Okay, so that goes back to the early Gregorian calendar. The cake represents fertility. So this was originally a pagan holiday. They were celebrating the end of winter, the beginning of spring. So there were cakes baked, uh, and they were usually in the shape of a ring, and that was to symbolize uh, fertility and royalty. And then the way we do it is there's a little plastic baby in the cake. So whoever gets the piece of cake that has the baby in it, they have to bring the next king cake. So king cakes, king cakes are very popular during Mardi Gras season. Everyone is eating king cake from January 6th until today. Well, that does look like so much fun. All right, we're going to throw some beads to you. There you go. Thanks so much for getting us in the Mardi Gras spirit. Grab yourself a hurricane, throw some beads, and have a great Fat Tuesday.